sure know how to twist someone's arm. It's a deal. I will go with you on your trip. The name's Tama, by the way. But don't get too familiar. <laughs> I turned to you as a last resort. After my father left no stone unturned to impede my journey. I will accept your departure in pilgrimage on the condition you find someone in town to accompany you. Who knows where the words that brought me to you? It does not take a sage to realize that if my father was talking in those terms, it was because he knew it was impossible for me to achieve this. He already convinced everyone to not lend me a hand. It would not be hard for him to do by means of his influence. But he could not even consider you. I love that accent. A foreign rogue, a thief who tried to steal the most sacred relic in our temple. The reason you ended up imprisoned in that cell. And I am glad about that. That made you, in practice, one more of the town's inhabitants. You would be able to leave prison, and I would be given permission to leave town and begin my journey to know the lands beyond the mountains. As payment for accompanying and providing me protection on the journey, you will receive something more valuable than the relic you tried to steal once we have returned. Those were the words that ended up convincing you. Something more valuable. Are you sure you can offer me something like that? You inquire. I never lie. I answer. It was a lie. I imagine that as a result of that deal, I would have the chance of meeting someone like you. Someone who taught me more than any pilgrimage could. Who gave me something more precious than any treasure in the world. Who made me look into the world through different eyes. Eyes filled with bravery. The eyes in which I wanted to see myself reflected once more. I will save you. So I called this, didn't I? <laughs> Coco Lavor, no matter the cost. Okay, wait. Ah! <laughs> you, we have all of the items. Uh, we have a bow, we have a bow, we have a bow. Ah, uh, shoot, wait. Do we have the stones and stuff? Slow prevention. Magic plus one and slow prevention. Soul save, but fire weakness. Second player consumable, wind element, light resist. Charge immunity, thunder weakness, but ice resistance, wind element, tempo immunity. Sword finisher, heart restore, wind weakness, but dark element. Uh, Grimoire of light protection, Grimoire of wind. So you kind of have to start from the beginning. We have to do the whole thing over again as Coco. I called this, didn't I? But I was expecting different mechanics. I guess, yeah, sure, she has the sword. But I was expecting her to do different things. Actually. Nope. Attack one. I was really hoping, like, magic would be more of a thing for her. Maybe it will be as she levels up more. Uh, she is leveling up pretty fast. She has the dash. Gosh. No. No. Nope. Okay. Come on. Come on, Coco. Just level up again. Level up again before you die. You having two hit points is really bad. Two hit points and literally no defense. Okay, break some pots. Um... Oh good, health restore! It took a while, but it restored a bit of health. Okay, heart increased. Didn't I say that I could potentially do all of this in one run? What if I try? Two, okay? What if I just do that? 
One run, huh? Let's go with it. Thomas sacrificed herself to bring Coco back, and now Coco is going to go to sacrifice herself to bring Tama back. And now we get to see the same story, but from Tama's perspective. Coco's perspective. The only question is what will happen afterwards? The true saddest ending. The true saddest ending is if you bring back Tama and it just goes back to before you rescued Coco. Now Tama is alive and Coco is dead. And you just have to go through again and basically ultimately decide on who lives and who stays dead. Two people both or potentially two people who are both willing and able and ready to fight. And yeah, two people are both willing to sacrifice themselves for the other. Only if they can both give themselves up and fight through and unlock the powers of the necromancer. Come on. I know how this works. I know how to fight. I didn't take the bow. I should have kept the bow. But yeah, you keep your chest of supplies because of course you do. So even in a one run run, it would still be va uh, valuable to store excess supplies back in the uh, chest uh, once you get access to that. Oh gosh, I would... I got so used to my constant dashes, I got kind of completely spoiled. Spoiler alert, Coco dies! Yeah, and there's no guarantee that Coco will actually, like, you know, come back if she dies. Was there a plot thing about that with, uh, Tama? Come on. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have to take a bit of extra time. We've got time. We're good. Gosh, I haven't seen that, like, out of soul symbol for, like, ever. No, no, no. Oh! This box is still good. Fast charge, fire, light, and wind. Sword finisher, heart restore. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. This one has strength. So, now my sword has all of the attributes. I mean, if I'd realized that the control pouch would have kept the items too, I would have just stashed everything good in there. I was really expecting it not to still have all the stuff. Fire level four. What else do you want? Time to fight a boss. Whatever. Wait! Is she going to know what they're saying? The boss is back. Uh, no, it doesn't auto translate. No. Right, this boss is a real practice in patience. If you don't immediately kill it, you really have to wait a long time. Wait. 
Wait, what? Oh, cool, sword finisher breaks through. No, you don't. Come on. Done! <sighs> yes. Yes, absolutely. This, throw away for the bow. Uh, heart restore is nice. What do we have? Ice element and that's it. Soul save, but also fire weakness. Magic plus one. Magic plus one and slow prevention is probably better than this entire ring. Although cart restore is good. And sword finisher was good for that boss. Actually, shoot, I kind of have to toss the thing, don't I? Fast charge, whatever, but fire, light, and wind element is nice. And then dark resistance, thunder weakness, fast soul. Also, soul, sword finisher, so extra damage on, like, the last attack of the sword versus potentially just extra damage on every attack. Uh, then... I'll, I'll keep it like this. I'll keep it like this. It was the first day of the pilgrimage. Nobody came to bid me farewell, except for one of the temple's priestesses who handed over a bag of coins to finance our journey. Not even Father deigned to attend. But that did not stop me. We departed early with the first light of dawn. Just you and me on the way to Ethan, the first city on our itinerary. This was the first time I left Aruda. A whole world before my eyes, a world that I only knew through books. I would finally be able to experience in my own skin all those words I had read. I had never before been able to observe nature around me so closely. I had to take notes. Along the way, I did not cease in my determination to observe the different animals and plants I spotted. You were always walking in front of me, several feet away, impatient. But I could not help it. That is how I spent the whole day. I was engrossed looking at some plants when I heard a noise behind me. As I turned, I saw it. A huge beast with gigantic fangs. The beast braced itself and lunged forward to ram me, and I could not do anything but run and call for help. Ah, help me! Uh, what's taking you so long now? Get your ass down here already. We're never going to get to Ethan if you keep stopping to smell the roses. She censored it somewhat herself for the test. <laughs> I noticed how something brushed my hair, and then again, and then a great weight fell behind me. I turned around, and there was the beast lying on the ground, dead, and stuck in its head. Two arrows resulting from two well-aimed shots. This, lady smartass, is no monster. It's just a wild boar. It is humongous. This is the first time I've seen one, well, well alive. Good grief. You, you killed it. And? Didn't you want me to protect you? There was a wild animal running after you, and you were screaming like crazy. What did you want me to do, give it a kiss? You did not even hesitate. And you could have hit me with those arrows! That was reckless! <laughs> well, excuse me, Prince.
princess. I didn't hit you, did I? So don't complain. Mm. Look, we made a deal. I protect you during this journey, and you pay me when we get back. And if you want me to protect you, I have to kill animals and do even worse things. Do you understand? I am just so sorry that the boar had to die because of me. I must have startled it. Don't cry for our dinner. It's starting to get dark. We should camp here. Damn. What did you expect? That we would get to Ethan this very day and sleep in a warm, fluffy bed? Of course not. Not with you stopping constantly. <sighs> Come on, stop standing there like a royal dimwood and help me carry this thing. Okay, uh, right, talking. I, I forgot I was playing a game, honestly. Wow. <laughs> I just kind of want to read the whole thing as, like, as just a story. It's awesome. It's adorable. I had to have a bow. What's my bow have? Uh, 5% chance to freeze. 5% chance to freeze and yet froze on its very first ever shot. Yes, hell think. If I do wind up dying and having to, like, go back through, I'm definitely going to, uh, get some better gear, but honestly, what I've managed to scavenge could very well be good enough. Shoot. I need this. Come on! Thank you. Ooh. Summoning one of these, though. Excuse me. Uh, five percent chance to stun. That's cute. Move. Fight. Win. What we tried. Uh, we put up a valiant effort. Uh, let's forge th some equipment. Let's... Magic plus one and slow prevention. Well, well. Ice element, and this has... This doesn't have ice element. I could give all of the elements... Uh, soul save, but also fire weaknesses. No. Charge immunity, thunder weakness, ice resistance. No. Slow prevention. Okay, I don't have enough essence of magic, uh, but I do have essence of strength, and this does not use- so I could just use the longbow and just have this be all strength, and then what else? Could get extra hard container, get, get extra that, uh, freeze, stun, blind, confuse, 
could just get status prevention all together. Uh, protection could be useful. Maybe instead of status, just get protection. Dash save. That's what I want. Dashes and dodges don't cost soul. So let's just go... Let's see. It's slow prevention already. So yeah, sure. Uh, definitely dash save. Done. And strength plus five. Uh, here's the thing, though. Ah, the bow still uses magic. It would be better. The sword still uses magic. It would be better just to get the magic plus five. Although I guess using the bow is better than using the sword, so I don't have to get up to things. Uh, Vassal, I won't need. Soul save, I also won't need. Mean to damage while charging, which would be great with the dash save, because I can... No, no, that's specifically charging. Uh, heart restore would be useful. Last sword combo hit is always crit. Spear, axe. Damage is nearby enemies when receiving a hit. Again, if I wanted to have a thing where I get, like, a lot of extra health back, maybe? Essence of Courage and just Experience times 3 could be useful, but I think I'd want protection on this. Just, you know, don't take as much damage in the first place. Um... Actually, I think I want Heart Restore. Not so much uh, need for protection, but Heart Restore heart restore and protection, but don't do as much damage. Sure. Heart Restore and protection. Actually, now I'm thinking don't have the protection, just have Strength plus 5 go on the... Oh, I kind of want to wait for Magic plus 5 and get a Magic Bow. Okay. Again, status prevention or damage protection. Damage protection. I guess... I guess I could always just, like, use a spell. Uh... Yeah, make this deal... Magic instead, weaknesses and resistances, and then what is this? My magic's already two. Magic is probably going to go up more than that. Actually, I could use, say, one of these books and use this instead and get a book of Blind, slow, status, things don't really tend to do very much. But could get a, a book with like plus five to magic. Potentially other stuff as well. And just persistence. And that's it. Okay. Kind of need the sword finisher for the first boss though. Yeah, yeah, plus three uh, soul containers. So it's wind element attack. Kind of wish I had light element attack instead. Ah. I like the bow. I like the bow. I will say that I like the bow just because, like, stand back and attack. Can do a similar thing with magic, though. Especially if I have dash save and if I have plus three soul. Uh, then that could overall be better. And then, boom. Uh, light element, yes. Light resistance, light element. I don't have the room for plus five magic on this, though. But I do have room for a full allotment of extra soul. Plus three soul, and then what do I need for the magic? I need 32 Essence of Magic. If I get that, then I can get this. Otherwise, I can just add plus three soul and attack with this like eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Getting extra hearts 
I will admit, would be nice. Wait, wait, wait. Just remembered. No, not that one. Not that one. Which one was it? Facile Sword Finisher. Or Sword Finisher right in the Heartless Store. Sword Finisher, this one. I need this. I need that just for the first boss. So, right back in. Still taking at least one damage from every hit that I take. I can't exactly spam out attacks so well. Ta-da! Just like that. And fast charge is... Bound to be extra useful. It's about as fast as I can go now. I close out the game for a moment. Fire, light, and wind. So, I don't think I necessarily need that. Come on, revive the rabbit. Yeah, the half damage will prove will start to prove more useful when enemies are dealing. More than one damage per hit on average. Uh, da da da. Rabbit set. Okay, perfect. Still stunned. Are we ki okay? Are we good? I guess it almost does encourage you to make a different, like, run of a character. Because strictly speaking, if you've been playing as Tama for, like, one run, but sending item, like, you know, putting items in the storage box or whatever, you know, uh, then you'd have to use different items. Like, you could do all this as Tama, but I think that Coco has higher, like, soul but less definitely less health but i think she has higher soul than tama naturally so it encourages you know either a more hit and run or a more magic heavy play style and with soul save you can kind of do both at once whereas with uh tama you kind of encourage us to go full brutality kind of in more of a way So, the real question is, am I going to get, uh, Coco? Up, up to level 20 as well, and the answer to that is, I don't think so. I 
think that this is going to take a lot less runs, but now that I have a proper, like, ranged option, I'm pretty good. Although I think I technically had a book for the last one, but this is, like, now, like, you know, proper. Bump, bump. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, put that away. I need sword finisher. Wind weakness, dark element. Ooh. Put that away for a moment. Okay, okay. I have my plan. I have a plan. Run up. Oh yeah, the third run through will be with Tama again, but now you can understand what everything is saying, because there is some more plot in there. Beat. I don't even need. I don't even need this. Uh, let's put this back, and I don't actually need this either. So let's put both of these back then. Uh, yeah, fast charge, fire element, light element, wind element. But I already have light and dark, and that will do at least neutral to everything. So yeah, let's just open the inventory. Yes. Uh, let's. So both of those back in, and then we go back here. Done. We can definitely get the second boss in this episode, right? Yeah. So, it doesn't look like- I don't remember the exact details of all of the stories from Thomas' side. Well, I only remember specifically, you know, the ones from last episode and the one where they both- uh, the one where Coco got drunk. Uh, that's the only ones I actually remember. So if this does wind up doing all of the same scenes, but from Coco's perspective, I'm not going to recognize it for a little while. You gave your life to a noble cause, little bunny. Ah, uh, boom. No, you don't. There you go. Oh my gosh, why are there so many? Why are there so bloody many restore rabbits all of a sudden?
Hey, look, I could totally just go back. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I know, sorry, it's just a big old mad dash. I just want to get to the boss and stab it in the face. Or the backside. The second boss can be attacked either way. Yeah, it's the whole thing about like type effectiveness, blah, 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 and then it's just like, no, just. Start attacking. I have a light attack. I have a dark attack. That's all I need. Oh, gosh. I almost died because I wasn't paying attention. Coco, please increase your health. I guess that, it's really up to me to increase her health, but no. I thought that said revive fatigue. Right here? Because I ran out of soul that I noticed a little prompt at the bottom. Wait, what? No! No, you don't. Wait, I got this. So long, rabbit. Oh, how I wanted thee. Did I take a damage from running into that thing and then immediately restore it with my heart regen? Because that would be awesome. Yeah. There isn't much to say about the story because I've already said, I've already predicted the entire story. A throwing axe, wait. Shoot, I want to test this. Yeah, once you get a little bit more bold with the critters around, it definitely starts to get easier. Don't let them be on the offensive. You take the offensive and take the fight to their faces. Sure. Hey, there's the axe. You threw it really far. Throw away. Oh, wait. The door's open. Of course they're all dead now. 
Okay, so at three magic, that goes up. So does it go up every three, or does it go up at every odd interval? Base damage of this is now at two. Okay, will it go up again at five, six, or at some other number? But the base damage of this seems to be like three. I guess that thing's just like weak to light naturally. Oh, that's right. Those things are weak to light. But why are they also weak to the sword? Maybe they're just weak. I have so many restore rabbits. Dark resistance, light resistance, status prevention. And an extra heart. These have strength. Thank you, Restore Rabbit. That thing apparently had an extra heart. I like how the monsters themselves can be, like, randomly, you know, better. Than average. Not like, you know, a ton better. Like, oh, hey, now you have to fight against this. Now you have to ha put up like a really strong fight against this one. It's like, no, it's like plus one health. Well, plus two health. You know, it gets, it gets a little bit of a strength buff. Not that big of a deal. Also, I like the thematics of like, with Tama, you like go slowly, fight each boss, learn each boss, find out how to beat each boss, and. You know, really take your time with all of it. Uh, learn how each boss, you know, behaves, learn its weak spots, uh, figure out, like, how to enchant, like, the best items that you need, whatever, how to fight all the monsters. You take it, kind of have to take it slow, because, hey, you're still learning the entire game. That was cheap. Uh... Shoot, it's not time to necessarily end the episode now. Can't forge up that. Uh, this, though. I don't suppose I can give it magic. We're close to one magic, but that's about it. Yep, still need 32 more essence of magic, so those are kind of rare. I kind of want to just plus three heart containers because. Yes. Like, this kind of makes sense, but now I have to remember not to dump it uh, when I'm going for bunnies. So now I actually have six hearts instead of three, so I shouldn't die that easily. Plus, I have a whole arena of bunnies. What do you get from that? I think I got, like, a level. But yeah, and then, like, with Coco, it's like... Oh, well, I already have at least some gear lying around that I can just go and grab. I know how to fight these monsters. I know that, like, okay, this thing has, like, eight health, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Trying to use the sword against it is kind of a bad idea. That thing only really has about six HP. I can just run up to it and attack it, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can get, you know, dash save on a thing. And I can just run around through the areas. Totally would have gone status protection if I could have. Axe finisher, no. Like, boom, boom, boom. I know how to do this. I can do this. I know what I'm doing. Kind of a whole thing. So it almost makes uh, Coco seem more awesome than Tama. Because all of... Uh, your experience as Tama goes into Coco, but that's kind of the point. Uh, Tama's life essence more or less went into Coco, which explains, like, in the lore of the game, why she's, you know, able to do better than uh, Tama. Because, specifically speaking, she knows what to do. Uh, because of Tama. I'm 
gonna have to toss that when I get something new. Guys, just yeah, I made some random. Blindy! Can't revive that, unfortunately. Nope, nope, nope. Running, running, running! Oh yeah, I don't even need sword finisher for this. Just need, you know, light magic. And then can attack while its eye is closed. Done. Yeah, give me my heart, thank. I'm good. Yeah, I'd be at half a heart right now and like pulling out a bunny to heal me, but since I'm at like three and a half hearts, I'm like, all right. If I get down to like two, I might be concerned. I'm good. Gosh, do you think I was just putting off playing this game just for, you know, no particular reason? But I got bold. I want to just finish all the rest of this game, like, now. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <sighs> okay, okay. Just take a moment and breathe. It's crazy to watch a speedrun of a game that you've played for like so long. Like I saw like a Slay the Spy speedrun. Apparently they use glitches in order to do so, uh, so well, so. That explains some things. Because, like, you can, like, click on one uh, path on the map and then, like, click on another one and get, like, the effects of both. So you can, like, double campfire before a boss. You can, like, pick up relics and, like, do stuff before you get the full effect of the relic to only get, like, part of it. It's crazy. Wait, I still don't have the key, but I've been to... I haven't been to every room. Uh, for example, there is still a chest over here. Yeah, I haven't been to every room. I just got like the floor map, which is kind of a detriment here. Also, for the record, aren't I supposed to be like protected? Yeah, that five damage is supposed to apparently be 10. Magic plus one and dark element. Actually, wait a second. Our magic is currently three. Our magic is right now currently four. And that is doing three damage. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Going for the extra health was a good idea. Um. Well, well, okay, okay. Ah. Uh. Gosh. I kind of want to just like write this cute little 
story of, you know, a rogue and, like, a priestess just going out on an adventure. Like, they already wrote it for- the Oh, gosh! Imagine! They actually wrote a book of, like, you know, Tama and Coco and blah, 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 and, like, they wrote it as a whole thing, and then they decided, you know what we should do? Oh, no, no. They got to the point where they have to go, like, to the- where Tama's deciding, hey, let's go and fight, like, the- let's go to, like, the Necromancer's dungeon and stuff. And, like, let's go and, like, fight the Necromancer to get things and whatever. But they couldn't really find a good way to write about it, so, like, screw it. Let's make a video game about our book. Oh gosh, that would be a double level of meta, because just playing, like, the game, you get the whole experience of, hey, you know that, you know, Coco is going to die, and then Tama is using the power of the Neckman, is, uh, going to try to use the power of the Necromancer to save her. And then you get, like, oh, what about the Necromancer? Ha ha. Like, we know this is gonna happen. Some, like, Rewind foreshadowing type stuff. Like she totally could have found out about the necromancer after Coco had died. Or, you know, had already known about it, but it's like, no, uh, gotta tell you about this, because this will come in handy. Uh this has already come in handy in the future. Whatever, but if there was an actual book first, with actual foreshadowing about the Necromancer, and then Tama actually, like, you know, using the, uh, book to, and whatever, and going there, and it's like, haha, Necromancer! But what happens at the den of the Necromancer? Yay, defense increase, it's now two! Yeah. How much defense do you need to, like, not be one-shot by a single attack? I say a single attack because people don't seem to realize what one-shot means anymore. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not attacking yet. I can use, like, the overall time delay. Yeah, the sounds of it charging and the overall time delay of my spell hitting the target. To get a fair estimation. Of, like, how long, uh, you know, how far away it is and, like, when I'm going to really have to dodge. Rabbit! Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. And charge. Wait a second. Aha! No, no, no!
Getting the uh, extra experience item was nice and all. Oof. Okay, okay. We can end off this episode at a nice, nice cutscene. You always say that, but I do not think you are so terrible. Yes, you may be pretty rough around the edges. That does not make you a bad person. I'm not talking about my lack of manners. I'm talking stealing, lying, deceiving people since I was nine. Since such a young age. Yep. It was then when the bandits took me under their protection and made me live like one of them. Wow. You were quite the gifted child. Not how I would have put it, princess. What happened? How did you end up in such a situation? Long story short, my father died coughing like an old man. We never knew what he caught. After that, my mother decided we had to leave town and go to the capital, where some relatives would take care of us. Mm -hmm. Before we could leave, she also fell ill and died from a high fever. It was probably the same disease. I am so sorry. Don't be. It's been ten years already. What did you do after that? Being the stupid child that I was, I had the great idea of following my mother's plan on my own. I took what little food we had left and headed into the woods, expecting to cross them and reach the city in search of those relatives that I later found out did not exist. So what was the mother's plan? Just take her child into the woods to die? Alone? A completely foolproof plan, if I do say so myself. So, after the most terrifying night in my life, I found myself in the middle of the forest, lost and alone. Food was running scarce, and I kept wandering for who knows how long. Just when I thought all hope was lost, I came across a group of bandits that had just robbed some travelers. I guess the boss felt pity for me, so they took me in. Well, at least you were fortunate enough to meet them. You've got to be joking. Those sons of bitches made sure I never forgot my debt to them. And shortly after taking me under their protection, they forced me to rob city folk, or else I wouldn't get any food for the day. Good grief. Since I was smaller and more agile than them, they also used me to sneak into places. So that's what I had to do to survive. Mind you, I'm not trying to justify myself to make you feel sorry for me, okay? With time, I even took a liking to stealing and threatening people at knife point. I became just another bandit, condemned to live that way forever. But hey, it's not like I expect someone like you to understand. Are you saying that because I had a comfortable life? <laughs> comfortable? Any girl would kill to live a tenth of what you have lived. Well, I will not even try to compete with what you have been through. It is evident that you have been through much worse than me. But I have not lived as happy of a life as you might think. <laughs> so you're saying that little princesses can also cry? For other reasons, but yes. I have lived all my life in the shadow of my lineage. Your lineage? What are you, royalty? Let us say that through my veins runs a somewhat special blood, descending directly from the Nodam. A daughter mm -hmm. of God's messengers, no less. Wait. And you expect me to not call you princess? Wait, hold on, hold on. The sword of the necromancer, they said, doesn't work on humans. She's technically not just human. That is why my family are the ones in charge of the Temple of Ayuda. We are the only remnants of Nodam on the mainland. Of course, because they ran off and bailed out. And if you're that special, what the hell are you doing traveling alone with a dirty bandit? Shouldn't your daddy be extremely worried about what happens to his little girl? Father hopes that I turn back to the temple scared and without completing the pilgrimage. There are two things that our family takes very seriously. Keeping promises and keeping the Nodam's pride and honor. 
If I am here with you, it is for those two reasons. I want to bet against my father, and his pride prevents him from even trying to clip my wings. Well, well. So, you played your cards right and got away with it. And why so much interest in the pilgrimage? Apart from the learning thing. Precisely to fulfill a promise. I promised my mother. I swore on her deathbed that I would not make the same mistakes as father. And then I would truly help people. Ow. So your mother's dead too? And it seems that she died in a similar way to yours, six years ago. Since then, I have had to carry all her responsibilities, in addition to continuing my education. And even before that, I spent my life preparing for that moment, night and day. It is what a descendant of the Nodam is supposed to do. So, what worries you is having to meet the expectations of literally everyone of an entire continent. I was yeah, it sounds like it. You could infer how I was feeling exactly just by hearing that little about me. Not too hard Thank to understand. understanding. Unlikely as it sounds, you are the first to do so. Throughout my life, everyone just told me that this is what you should do, regardless of what I thought. It is precisely because of my duties that I had to make this pilgrimage. This would be my only chance. Why is that? I turned 20 years old a few months ago. When I turned 21, according to our traditions, I must lock myself in the temple forever. I won't be able to walk the streets of Euda. So, this pilgrimage is a way to delay the inevitable, right? You said this could take a couple of years. Indeed. And I plan to make good use of them 